what's up guys you're welcome back thanks a lot for the visit how about this disbursement you know depending on the angle you are a lot of uh, things has been said and uh, the deadline was uh, yesterday and it was said that disbursement was yesterday if there's no disbursement wakama will be removed apostle wakama will be removed and uh, government uh, intervention will take over but now we have two things to to talk about in this uh, short video the first one is government takeover the second one is the protest that have been scheduled on a uh, monday now let's talk about the government takeover mm, if you investigate widely read widely this is non-governmental organization ngo it's just like saying that um then how which example are we going to use just like saying that um in the middle foundation will be taken over by the government because maybe member one member of Elmelu family says that uh, Tony Elmelu is not managing it well so he now goes to the government to see government intervention for government to take over the NGO it doesn't happen like that they resolve it within themselves so about uh, government taking over this uh, disbursement and the rest is not going to happen the way it's being said however government can intervene when there is a misappropriation of bills as an uh, alleged embezzlement crime then government can intervene investigate we can see the the to case though that one it wasn't taken to a higher level so government can intervene government can decide to intervene but government cannot take over the running of affairs because it's called non-governmental organization so but government still have you know because uh, it's done in the country where there is law and uh, things that the government have to uphold which is a law and uh, harmony so government can come in to intervene in terms of legal and uh, dispute and embezzlement alleg allegation but in terms of the running of affairs government may not directly come directly come into play so but the whole issue have been settled i think we have told that uh, the the whole issue have been settled then coming to the the protest that is allegedly going to be held on monday now this protest is a complicated issue because now this uh, grand community is kind of in a disarray it's sad to say the grand community is in a disarray who heads the, the protest who is bold enough because in this grand community truth be told no one is really a saint everybody have stained their their selves everybody have uh, more than 90 percent of those involved have done one thing or the other so who will now come and say i am innocent i'm innocent and now want to chair the protest that is where the problem is now so nobody wants to come and bear the cat and chair the, pro, uh, the protest because it will be like you are openly, you know, castigating the administration and some being, some are afraid also that uh, it's so complicated that there is no unifying head to oppose as in a unifying head to chair the protest. So where is the protest going to start from? Is it going to start from Abuja? Is it going to start from Lagos? Is it going to start from Portacourt? Where is it going to start from? So there is no, uh, how will I say, federal unifying head to chair it, you know. So, and uh, because of that, people are living in fear that they might support the protest and their name will be removed, their names will be removed because there is still a unifying body, you know, that, uh, a unifying body that sums the name you know so but what we are just looking forward is the disbursement what we are looking for is disbursement and uh, ken and his group have not really come out to tell us the date you know and the protest also is in a is not really you know announced 
so we'll, we'll keep you guys updated on recent development but the two things the two agenda of this video is the first one is about uh, protest protest will not hold on monday there's no possibility of the protest on monday and secondly